Hey there, everybody. Welcome to today's episode of Yammy Noob Tech Tips. Today, I'm going to teach you how to send a fax, how to install security software on your home PC, and how to speed run Dark Souls 3 in under 30 minutes. Psych. Sorry, I forgot your hopes up. We're actually talking about motorcycle technology today. Technology on bikes is great. It helps us stay safe, it improves engine efficiency, and most importantly, it makes us go faster, baby. And that's what we all want, right? So without further ado, here are seven amazing pieces of motorcycle technology. The first piece of motorcycle technology that has completely changed the game for fast boys everywhere is the quick shifter. A motorcycle quick shifter is a device that allows the rider to shift gears on a motorcycle without using the clutch or rolling off of the throttle. It works by interrupting the ignition or fuel injection system for a fraction of a second during the gear change, which allows the rider to shift up or down smoothly and quickly. When the rider activates the quick shifter by pushing or pulling on the shifter, the device sends a signal to the motorcycle's ECU. Kind of like how I send signals to your mom every time I see her at the bar. The ECU then cuts the power to the spark plugs or fuel injectors for a moment, which releases the load on the transmission and allows the rider to shift to the next gear without disengaging the clutch or closing the throttle. Perfect for all those 186 mile per hour R6 highway runs. The quick shifter is usually equipped with a speed sensor that detects the movement of the gear lever and a microprocessor that analyzes the speed, RPM, and other factors to determine the optimal timing for the ignition or fuel cut. Some advanced quick shifters also feature adjustable sensitivity and kill time, which allows the rider to fine tune the performance to their preference. A quick shifter can significantly improve the speed and smoothness of gear changes, especially during high speed or racing conditions, or if you're a dad with the Panigale V4 at the track and you want to feel like you're going faster. More and more motorcycles are coming equipped with quick shifters from the factory these days and manufacturers are trying to stay competitive in the market. While other people are able to install quick shifters after the fact that are specifically designed for their bikes. And while most average riders don't absolutely need to be able to shave microscopic amounts of time off their gear changes, it sure is satisfying to seamlessly click up and down through the gears. Many quick shifters will also include auto blippers, which automatically blip the throttle down during shifts to perfectly match engine speed for seamless downshifting. Have you ever thought about owning a Ducati? Well, make your dreams a reality by getting entered to win this one right here. March 17th is the very last day you have to get entered to win this motorcycle and time is running out. So I'm doing something special for all my squids out there. Go to shop.yamnew.co, spend anything you want. You're gonna get 10X entries on your dollar to win this machine. Time is running out. Head over to shop.yamnew.co and get entered to win this thing because it's gonna show up at somebody's doorstep, why not make it yours? Another piece of tech that may seem negligible to the layperson, but is still found on every single race bike and top line S tier bike that are sold to the public are aerodynamic winglets. Just like a spoiler on a car, aerodynamic winglets are designed to improve the aerodynamics of a motorcycle by reducing drag and increasing downforce. Although I don't recommend that you eat a sandwich on your wings like you would on a Honda Civic. And also like the spoiler on a car, a lot of people don't need them, but they just want the look and feel of a pure fast boy. When a motorcycle is traveling at high speed, the air flowing over and around the motorcycle creates turbulence and drag, which can slow the bike down and make it less stable. Kind of like your alcoholic father, not very stable. Winglets are designed to smooth out the airflow and create a downward force that helps to keep the bike stable and plant it on the road. The design of the winglets varies depending on the motorcycle and the intended use. Generally, they consist of small wing-shaped protrusions that are attached to the front or rear of the motorcycle. These winglets are designed to create a small vortex or turbulence that helps reduce the drag and improve the stability of the motorcycle. By reducing the drag, the motorcycle can achieve higher speeds with less effort as less power is needed to overcome the resistance of the air. Additionally, the improved stability provided by the winglets allows the rider to maintain control of the motorcycle at high speeds, which can be especially important during racing or other performance-oriented applications performance-oriented application is also what I call my Ducati spec flashlight. Ducati has been an industry leader in innovative motorcycle design and as a clear and direct result have won more World Superbike Championships than any other manufacturer. Let's not talk about GP. Let's not talk about GP Championships. Just, just Superbike. Don't look over there. Don't look at GP. One of the pieces of motorcycling engine technology that Ducati has pioneered that remains elusive to their engines is the Desmodromic valve system. Much to the chagrin of the rider who is fronting the bill on the Desmo valve service, 
at their local Ducati dealership. Ducati Desmodromic valves are a unique valve system used in Ducati motorcycles. In traditional valve systems, the valves are open and closed by springs. The Desmodromic system, however, uses a different mechanism to control the valve operation. In the Desmodromic system, there are two rocker arms for each valve, one to open the valve and one to close it. The opening rocker arm is activated by the camshaft in the same way as a traditional valve system. However, the closing rocker arm is operated by a separate cam that is designed to ensure that the valve is closed completely and rapidly. The Desmodromic system allows for more precise control over the valve operation and can result in improved performance at high RPMs. Because the system relies on positive actuation of the valve rather than relying on the spring to close it, it is possible to achieve higher engine speeds without the risk of valve float or other issues that can occur with traditional valve systems. Additionally, the Desmodromic system allows for more accurate valve timing, which can help to improve power delivery and reduce emissions. The system is also less prone to wear and fatigue compared to traditional spring-operated valves. Desmodromic valves is a trademark of Ducati motorcycles and has become one of the defining features of their high-performance engines. While the system can be more complex and expensive to manufacture and maintain than traditional valve systems, it is often preferred by enthusiasts and performance riders who like drinking espresso out of tiny cups and acting better than everyone else. Now, one of the biggest ways to make an internal combustion engine more powerful is to increase the amount of air that comes into the engine. And since there has been a long history of failed attempts at factory turbocharged engines, the next best thing is a ram air system. A ram air intake is a type of air intake system used in motorcycles to improve the engine's performance by increasing the amount of air that is delivered to the engine. It goes right in there, rams it right in there, baby. The system works by using the forward motion of the motorcycle to force air into the intake rather than relying solely on the negative pressure created by the engine's suction. The ram air intake system typically consists of a scoop or a duct that is positioned at the front of the motorcycle, usually on the fairing or in front of the frame. As the motorcycle moves forward, the scoop or duct captures the incoming air and directs it right into the airbox where it mixes with fuel and enters the engine. The key feature of the ram air intake system is that it uses the pressure of the incoming air to increase the volume and velocity of the air that is delivered to the engine. And this can result in improved engine performance as the engine is able to burn more fuel and create more power, baby. Ram air intake systems are often used on high performance racing motorcycles like where maximum power and speed are desired. However, the benefits of a ram air intake system may be less notable during street use unless you routinely cruise at 186 miles an hour. A lot of times it can be another one of those buzzwords manufacturers use to entice riders who will likely never take full advantage of it. But hey, as far as racing and pushing the boundaries of what a motorcycle is capable of, ram air has been a significant development. And if motorcycles keep getting faster and more powerful, there often needs to be some technological rider aids that keep the rider in control of the bike. Think of things like ABS or traction control or wheelie control. The most advanced motorcycles have all of this rider modes controlled by a six axis IMU. A six axis IMU or an inertial measurement unit, inertial, inertial, got it, is a sophisticated sensor system that is designed to use on modern motorcycles to improve stability, handling, and performance. The IMU uses a combination of sensors including accelerometers and gyroscopes to measure the motorcycle's motion and orientation in six degrees of freedom, forward and backward, left and right, up and down, roll, pitch, and yaw. But here in America, we have seven degrees of freedom. You need the gun axis as well. The six axis IMU on a motorcycle works by continuously monitoring the motorcycle's movement and sending data to the bike's electronic control unit. That's the ECU for those not in the know. The ECU then uses this data to make real-time adjustments to the motorcycle's various systems, including the suspension, brakes, and engine, in order to optimize performance and improve handling and safety. For example, the IMU can detect when the motorcycle is leaning into a turn, and it can adjust the suspension and brakes to provide optimal stability and control. It can also detect sudden changes in acceleration or braking and adjust the engine and transmission accordingly to maintain optimal traction and stability. Although it will not be able to tell you when your big titty goth girlfriend is going to break up with you. It can't see into the future like that. The six axis IMU can be used to provide advanced rider aids such as traction control, wheelie control, and slide control. These systems use the IMU data to detect and mitigate potentially dangerous situations such as a loss of traction or instability during hard accelerations or braking. But 
They're all not going to save you if you do something silly on an R1, for example. The six axis IMU is another powerful tool that is derived from motorcycle racing that helps to improve the performance and safety of modern motorcycles. By providing real-time data on the motorcycle's motion and orientation, the IMU allows the bike systems to make precise informed adjustments that help the rider stay in control and get the most out of their machine. Similarly, a massive technological advancement for motorcycles is electronically controlled suspension. Electronically controlled motorcycle suspension, also known as active suspension or semi-active suspension, is a type of suspension system that uses sensors and electronics to automatically adjust the suspension settings in real time based on road conditions, rider input, and other factors. Both the front forks and rear shock have a spring and damper which work together to absorb bumps and vibrations and keep the wheels in contact with the road. In an electronically controlled suspension system, sensors on the motorcycle detect changes in road conditions such as bumps, potholes, or changes in the surface quality. The sensors send signals to the ECU which analyzes the data and adjusts the suspension settings accordingly. The adjustments can be made to the dampening rate, compression rate, and or the rebound rate of the suspension depending on the specific system. Some systems also allow the rider to choose different modes or settings such as comfort or sport which adjust the suspension to different levels of stiffness or softness. One of the benefits of electronically controlled suspension is that it can provide a smoother, more comfortable ride by adapting to changing road conditions. It can also improve handling and performance by keeping the wheels in contact with the road and reducing bounce and vibration. Overall, electronically controlled motorcycle suspension is is a sophisticated technology that can enhance the rider's comfort and confidence while also improving the motorcycle's safety and performance. Now, the last piece of amazing motorcycle technology that is just absolutely essential to mention is the supercharger from the Kawasaki H2. I am an H2 boy now. As we know, no one had really been able to successfully make a worthwhile force induction motorcycle before the H2. The H2 was the first to make a really stellar supercharged engine from the factory. The supercharger in the Kawasaki H2 works by using a belt-driven compressor to force air into the engine's intake system. The compressor is powered by the engine's crankshaft, which turns a pulley that drives the supercharger. As the supercharger spins, it draws in air from the atmosphere and compresses it before delivering it to the engine's intake system. Unlike a turbocharger, a supercharger does not face obstacles like turbo lag. The compressed air is then mixed with fuel in the engine's combustion chamber, creating a more powerful explosion than would be possible with a naturally aspirated engine. The supercharger on the Kawasaki H2 is a centrifugal type, which means it uses a spinning impeller to compress the air. This type of supercharger is known for its efficiency and reliability, as it does not require a separate oiling system as some other superchargers do. In addition to the supercharger, the Kawasaki H2 also features advanced engine management and fuel injection systems that work in concert to optimize performance and efficiency, a symphony of horsepower, boost, and beautifulness. As a result, the Kawasaki H2 is one of the most powerful stock motorcycles currently available. A fully built H2 can easily crest north of 300 horsepower and see ungodly speeds. The supercharger on this motorcycle is truly a gift from the gods. Which piece of motorcycle technology do you think is most important from the industry? I think I'm stuck on the supercharger. Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I truly do appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Fact, at over 1 billion years of age, the Blue Ridge Mountains are among the oldest in the world, second only to South Africa's Barbaton Greenstone Belt. Goodbye. Keep watching. Watch, 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 watch.